jumping back ahead to where I was at a certain point. I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, do this battle without cutting her, see if it changes things. Is she just gonna target Kel? She's targeting Kel, that's an issue. I know it doesn't do anything currently, but she's also not talking sunny, so. Ow! That dealt more than I was hoping it would. I'm gonna say this is very much not a doable thing, but I'll finish this attempt before I say no to retrying. Alright, so confirmed that it's just is not a possible thing because she can just almost one-shot people. She can two-tap people. Alright YouTube, welcome back to Let's Play Amori. And then the last thing, uh, you know, we made it back to the real world and made some choices. In this one, I just attempted, and sure enough, from what I can tell, I cannot be Aubrey without Stabby Stabby. Which just instantly ends the battle, but, you know, we might have to fight her again without Stabby Stabby, but at least it'll be two people fighting her. Uh... So, what was I doing, is the question. I was looking for Basil's thing. So, where is Aubrey? I guess I should go to the park to look for clues, that's what it is. Scissors beats paper. I mean... I don't know that she'd be considered paper, considering she has a baseball bat with spikes all over it. Don't know why I didn't realize she could walk right in front of that guy. Oh. Neat. That is an interesting take. <laughs> competitive. Competitive orange dealers and apple dealers. Looks like Aubrey isn't here. Just a sec, I'm gonna get rid of this pop up on my screen. Block that. Wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging out with Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? Hmm. You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? Where now? What do you do that for? Ah, uh, it isn't Kel, no weird knife guy. We're the adversaries for the great and mighty Angel. Ah, uh, finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? Uh, you say Aubrey, do you? Interest. I'll tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. Battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on. Let's sick him, Charlie. Hmm. 
Hmm. Just based on their convention, it kind of reminds me of the uh, two from... Ah, whatever. Uh... Go give some encouragement. Ow. Heh, <laughs> you surprised me, Kale. You can make a worthy rival for my master. Sure they are. <laughs> you you'll pay for this. Can this be? My train was all for nothing. Now oh, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully! <sighs> okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. <laughs> a promise is a promise, I suppose. I'll honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in far away town. Probably. Dang it, Angel. You better not be messing around or else. I told you. I'd tell you what I know. And the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now. Or else I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. <laughs> what? You can't do that? That's cheating. Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my mascot, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The Maverick? Oh no, you mean that weird kid, Michael? Michael? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see, so it is him. Where can I find Mick? I mean, the Maverick? Oh, do you want to know? But, you have to find me first. Or I can tell everyone about that time you. Ah. Okay, fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was going to meet some girls there for a date or something. Ugh, disgusting. Come on, Sonny, let's go to Faraway Plaza. I think we're done here. Hey, Charlie. Teacher went to the Faraway Plaza. Yeah. Alright. Question is, how do I heal? Is there any way to heal that isn't using healing items? Because, uh... I don't exactly have the ability to cook currently. Okay, Space Benoy. I know your story, I was walking back from Fix It after making a purchase with my hard earned money. When I looked down, lo and behold, my brand new garden shears are missing. Yes, it's true. My new garden shears tore a hole open in my plastic bag. Oh, how silly I felt just then. Do you think you can help me find them? They should be somewhere around here. Somewhere between... Got it. Did not notice that when I ran by. He gave the garden shears to Red Glasses Lady. Ah, thank you, boys. Huh. I'll be sure to never make such a silly mistake ever again. It's rare to see young boys willing to help a stranger these days. Feel free to come by to my... Come to my house anytime. You will always be welcome. Some random person says I can come to their house? Hell yeah. Do you have candy? Easy. A bunch of books and magazines. TV. Fireplace looks like it's used every now and then. Anyway. <laughs> nice lamp. So 
Someone left the planner open. The word Kim and Vance were written in for last week. That would require me to use a knife. And Cal asked me not to stabby stabby. Toaster. State of the art slow cooker. Perfect for busy or lazy moms. At least that's what we heard on a commercial once. An unfinished cup of coffee. Gulp, gulp. Another unfinished cup of coffee. Refrigerator. Avocados, eggs, blueberries, and grapefruit. I am a menace to society. I'm just walking to this lady's house to start looking for a fridge. house layout is familiar. A yoga mat. Yoga is good for you as it strengthens the connection between your body and spirit. At least that's what mom told you once. A bonsai tree. Table lamp. A bunch of books and magazines. A of bamboo stalks. Snip, 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 snip. Ah, uh, hi there, you two. I didn't expect you so soon. Look here. Care for these bonsai is a hobby of mine. It helps me really stress. After this, I'm going to start preparing dinner for my children, Kim and Vance, tonight. They better not be late again, or else. Snip, 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 snip. Alright. Let's go through your stuff. Bunch of old books and magazines. There's an open book on the table. Training should be done regularly to maintain the shape of your bonsai. All bonds that grow at different rates, so it is necessary to value each tree's growth rate and adjust your trimming to accommodate. This is now Bonsai Lady. Bathroom time. coffee on it. Oh, hey! That's crazy. You rate it a 7 out of 10. Okay. Books, comics, and magazines. So, we found that person's house. So, neat, neat. Oh, another person. <laughs> Excuse me. So, it impose me. You look like some trustworthy people. I think you can help me. I need to pick up this week's medication at the pharmacy, but I'm feeling a bit weak at the moment. I usually send my daughter Charlene, but she's not here right now. You'd be so kind to pick it up for me. Thank you, children. Let's talk to the man at the pharmacy. You'll understand. You got a prescription ID card. Alright, time to steal someone's identification and their meds. You're so funny. Oh, oh. oh, what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please. That's enough me to go to the ground. Mikhail, what are you doing? <clears throat> if it is Mikhail, my arch nemesis. Finally, you're to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikhail. Michael, I really don't know which one's supposed to be. Mikhail is a name, and Michael is also a name. I don't know that. I'm 
gonna keep saying Mikhail because of how I'm reading it. Working for Aubrey, have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Mikhail, do you know where she is or not? Again, with the godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool out of me. I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. We're to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I would the floor with this loser. Please, Mikhail, don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna ask one more time. Fight me, you wad. Don't be a chicken. Are we really gonna do this? Okay then, come on Sunny, let's take him down. The Maverick. Oh Kiel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. Faster if I attack with wolf. <laughs> Not bad. But this fight's just getting started. Thing is that, realistically speaking, Kel's doing more damage, so I'm more than doubling my speed at this point. Eh, as expected, my rival, but I must tell you, while well, you were fooling around playing sports, I was learning my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my old skill. You're going down, Cal. <laughs> Is that all you got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form. I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. I like how the, you know, like, actual sprites change. It's neat. Both for us and for them. It's only a matter of time before you tie yourselves out. My victory is imminent. admit I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. <laughs> no, this is impossible, improbable, absolutely inconceivable. like this. No, it can't be over for me. People of Earth, lend me your strength. Yeah! Hey, what is this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth ten bucks. Let's get out of here. Ladies, please come back. I have more money. Uh. Michael. I'm just gonna say Michael, I guess. There is no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is and we'll go. Kel could try to be more considerate. If this guy is really like this, just call him the Maverick. Who cares? <laughs> okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is, and I'll tell you. On one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Maverick. Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her advance major sugar heads, so 
I have a hunch that they're probably somewhere near candy. That was totally worth my first aid kit. My husband keeps eating junk food. I need to make sure he has a healthy meal. Mom and I are buying healthy stuff at the other mart because she threw away all the snacks in her house yesterday. I think she's going on a health craze since my dad's only eating junk food lately. Why can't we do both? You definitely can. It's actually better to. There's so many types of tamales on the market now. I don't need any of that fancy stuff. Canned tamales are good enough for me. In my opinion, food is only a vehicle for sauce. Yep, that's fair. If you're feeling stressed, may I suggest some tea? Earl Grey and chamomile are good, but boba is my favorite. Okay. To Miss Candace's candy shop. Okay, that's where I'd go to do that. To other Mart Pharmacy. All the containers in this section can be recycled to create new containers over and over and over again. Such a bountiful concept, isn't it? My son Billy is such a stickler for the environment. He and his friends are always picking up trash around the town. It's good to see so many young people these days taking care of the planet. I have one job, and it's to sell meat. He's making hamburgers. I hope we meet again. <laughs> Advertisements. Hey. Job? No. Okay. I will in a minute. I need to save before I do that. Money machine. Sleek silver scooter. Alright, I guess let's head into the pharmacy and start this. Then I'll save and come back to the uh, other bit. Gotta work those part time jobs. Hmm, hello. How can I help you? You give the prescription ID card to the pharmacist. Ah, oh, you're here to pick up some medication. Oh, I know who this is for. I'll bring you right out. Yeah, Granny's Medicine. You're picking up her medicine in place of her daughter's today? Daughter today? I'm not actually supposed to give out medication like this, but I usually make an exception for her since she doesn't have a way to come here herself. Thanks for helping her out. You kids have a nice day. If you have any bandages or first aid kits, I've got you covered here. Oh, that's nowhere near as much as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Uh, it's only $5 for a full heal. Uh, is there nothing I can do? Medication. Consultation. Okay. Let's go return this and then save and then we'll come back and do that job. came back. You give Granny's Medicine ID card to the old bun granny. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me? Thank you so much. You have a big he you've been a big help. It's so nice to see the youth helping us old folks. You're all welcome by home anytime. I got somebody else's house. My youngest daughter is usually so attentive to me. I wonder where she is. She's always been pretty quiet, but she's made a lot of new friends recently. I hope she doesn't forget about me. A wheelchair. A bunch of books and magazines. The entire bottom row is filled with school yearbooks. Wow. Ooh, this one has a door on the left. Give 
Don't begin to proliferate the proposal of mundane scribbles amongst one another on deflated parchment. If you're gonna scribe me something, please do so modern entrapment in Parliament. Ah oh, yes, that peripheral you pawned over there is my dearly, my duly patrolled. I'd appreciate it if you keep your optimal appendages in their seats. She assimilates my confab better than anyone in anything else. She's such a sweetheart and we love each other. Now leave us alone. There's trash is strewn all across the floor. I if it smells like rotten food in here. You've got trash. Much of small figurines kept in surprisingly good condition. This trash is strewn all across the floor. It smells like rotten food. Soda cans. Can't get the rest of it? Alright. Oh, yeah, nice. I can eat kelp, totally. Actually, one thing I didn't check. Strange comics. Okay. Well, whatever, my guy. House phone. Small fake house plant. Some towels and toiletries. The bed is big, but the mattress feels uneven and lumpy. You would rate it a 6 out of 10. Not that bad. A wheelchair for upstairs, of course. This bed is a little on the soft side, but overall not too bad. You'd rate it a 7 out of 10. Pretty purple flowers in the window seal. There's a love letter on this table. Hmm. Could be four. Fancy tea party for two. A cactus, sturdy and resilient. Just like hell. I guess one last thing. A fancy lamp. At least it leaves me alone in here. Kel doesn't follow me in, which would be odd. Mirror. Some towels and toiletries. A bathtub with some strange equipment attached to it. I mean, yeah. Alright, you have to go in their kitchen. Always in their kitchen. In their dining room. Newspaper magazines, they seem to have accumulated over a long period of time. Soon a certificates and awards line this wall with the oldest one state back to almost 20 years ago. Huh. Nice. A state of the art slow cooker, perfect for busy or lazy moments. Yeah. Microwave. Full of wrappers, some soda cans. What do you have to eat? Yogurt, asparagus, and some kind of medication. Just immediately steal the medication that we helped deliver. <laughs> Pretty fucked up. Bunch of mail address to Ma. The return address are all from all over the country. Look, Ma, I'm on the news. Okay. Well, thanks for having us. Uh, I guess one final thing to check. Newspaper and TV remote. Best not to touch it. These are prone to getting lost. Fair, fair. Now we can go save. Hold on, Sonny. You can't go back home yet when there's still so much to do. Liven up. It's a brand new day. I needed a pee. I know you mentioned this in a previous stream. Hello, fish? Oh, you buy fish here, you got it. Let's check out the job one at time. Okay. Oh, you're gonna take this job? That's cool. I'll just go out somewhere else in the meantime. See you soon, Sonny. I give you weapon. 
Tokyo flies. Okay. Okay. Fly swatter. Now go. No more job? Okay. Then no money? What did you mean yet? This can't be good for business. Quit in the middle of a part-time job. Alright. Give me just seconds. Uh, World save file. There we go. I got the achievement. Don't know why, but I guess it's an option. I could just go around doing all the part-time jobs, right? It's not gonna somehow, like, penalize me taking away time or something. Now go. I feel angry. I see fly, I get angry. Makes sense. At this point, I've learned just to ignore you whenever you mention a bad ending. Where's my XP and my money? Come on. I'm killing so many things. I'd laugh if I came back to uh, the Dream World and I had, like, so much more XP just because of what I did in real life. Shouldn't leave while you have a job to do. Got a job to do, you're gonna do it right. Yo, Angori. Definitely gotta learn to calm down. I know, Krim. Yeah, I didn't realize I'm in the middle of working a job. Ooh. Fuck that. Ice, very cold. A wet mop. Alright. That should be all of them? Good job. $20 for your hard work. Hey, Sunny, how'd you do? While you were working, I decided to sit on a bench and talk to strangers. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready to go whenever you are. Got it. I'll just have to steal the fly swatter. Oh, time to spend the money I just earned to buy fish. These are very, very assertive that I need to buy fish right now or else I'm going to die or something. Why can't I just teach Kel to calm down? It just repairs all of your health. It's such a useful skill. Is there any way to heal other than items? Like, should I just pop a first aid kit right now? Or can I go and heal for free somehow?
you upgraded from sugar to crack? Wow. Well, what happened the last three or four years? Okay, if you don't remember, you don't remember. I now spend my hard-earned money. I can check out the Fix-It store. Don't know if I'd want to, considering they themselves are broken. Welcome to Fix-It, where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. Flowers for important people. There are important people out there. Yo, kid, I see you starting at the Help Wanted poster. Are you interested in a quick job? That's awesome, kid. I hope you get started. Oh, you're taking this job, Sonny? In that case, I'll come back for you later. Card, okay? Alright, kid, take a good look at those shelves behind you. You'll probably notice that everything's a big, jumbled mess. You'd think with the sign above the shelf, it'd be obvious where to put things, but people just don't give a crap these days. Uh, I hate working retail. Anyway, the sign above the shelf shows what products should be on display. Your job is to move everything back to its rightful place. Got it? I'm counting on you, kid. Okay, so... Got it, I understand. I have to interact from the front. I was trying to interact from the side and it was not working. So. Uh. Alright. Then I'll pick up the shovel. Hammer. I don't know why I'm, I think I'm just incapable of reading at this point. I'm button mashed one too many times through and it messed me up. Okay, the drill. In place of the shovel, which I shall drop right over here. Also be working odd jobs with me. This is a two-way street, bud. Tape. 
This is definitely one of the more boring ones. It's definitely not hard, it's just kind of monotonous. Okay, shovel. I'm now done with shovels. Finally done? Excellent work, kid. Here's three bucks. Don't spend it all in one place. Hey, Sunny, how'd you do? While you were working, I decided to play some basketball at the park. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready to go whenever you are. It's honest work. Complete all part-time jobs at once. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, they're in love. After this time, we finally moved in together. It's so exciting, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, this is the start of the rest of our lives. Now it's time to make our first important decision. What color should we paint in our house's walls? Hmm, I think anything would work. I like all the colors. What do you think, Sean? I could go any way, too. Don't worry about me. You can choose, Karen. What color would you like? Karen and Sean. Oh, Sean, you're too selfless. I don't need to pick a wall color. I'll be happy with anything as long as I'm with you. Karen? If we keep doing this, we're gonna be stuck here forever. <laughs> You're right. What if we just close our eyes and pick a color? Oh, that works. That way, the result will be completely impartial. Let's do it. Okay, sounds good. Close your eyes, Karen. Wait, hold on. It's okay. You should be the one to do it, Sean. I insist. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> no, Karen, it should definitely be you. What if I pick a color you don't like? Oh, we're not getting anywhere, anything done, are we? <laughs> I have an idea. Let's get a stranger to help us. Hey, you. Can you help us out for a second? Please come here and pick a color sample. Just make sure it's completely random. You picked up a little floral wallpaper from that wallpaper sample. Huh? What's this wallpaper doing here in the base section? Hmm. It must have gotten misplaced. Well, it's not really what I was expecting, but I'm kind of digging it. What do you think, Karen? The wallpaper seems neat. I think that this works just fine. Let's do it. Thank you so much for the help. We're both from around the area, but we just moved in together into a brand new house recently. It's the one with the yellow roof on the street near the church. Yellow roof, church, got it. We're thinking of having a housewarming party for two days from now. It would be amazing if you could join. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Hey, stranger, how's your day been? My day's just going great. Going just great. Wanna know why? It's today's the day I'm finally gonna be fixing the leak at my house. My problems began a couple weeks ago. I found a really stubborn leak in the corner of my living room. How it got there, I don't know. It wasn't very noticeable at first, but the leak has been slowly getting worse and worse every day. To tell you the truth, I've already gotten used to hearing the sound of dripping water and the feeling of a damp carpet. But you know what? Today's the day everything changes. Yes, I'm finally here at Fix It. My tools are ready, and I'm gonna fix it. <sighs> Sorry for ranting to you like that. The leak may have been driving me mad without knowing. My house is right next to the church southwest of here. If you want to come by and watch them at this momentum occasion, please be my guest. Alright. Sure. I, in fact, did not. Uh, what I did do, though, was I got invited to a housewarming party two days from now by picking a wallpaper instead of the paint. And also just got invited to some guy's house because he's obsessed with fixing the leak. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll be sure to find him at some point. I will tell you where Aubrey is unless you call me the Maverick. Yeah, sure, whatever, my guy. Wow, that boy with the blonde wig is so cool. I wish I had his confidence. I mean, 
I feel like if you're wearing a wig to try to look cool and not for like your personal betterment, you don't have a lot of confidence. Wait, hold up, Sunny. I know it's been a... Oh, okay. Got it. Alright. Um... I mean... Cal does, if that's what you mean. Me? No. Alright, guys. Next time on Let's Play Amori. We're gonna keep going around town. We'll probably have made it to, if not Aubrey, then at least just to the candy shop to meet over with Vance and Kim. So, next time, I guess we'll see you then. Bye.